and the gates open and it's uh, got a hold on me it actually misses the break altogether and it is uh, Viola who takes him up down the center of the track Viola on the stand side rail is you're so vain on the far outside is Glitzern got a hold on me totally just swung across left with his head high in the air so it is Viola Viola who takes him up as they come down the hill to join the high rising ground it's Viola about four lengths and uh, got a hold on me trying to make a lot of ground on the stand side rail on the far right side is and Kings Point looking for a gap but uh, got a hold on me still chases trails the field as he comes up now to overtake you're so vain it's Viola in the center of the track 420 meters to go Viola you're so vain on the far right side got a hold on me looking for a good line down the stand side rail it's between these three Glitzern's not in at Kings Point hasn't made a move yet Viola going for the line with on the far right side you're so vain and got a hold on me not going to get up there at this stage it is you're so vain on the far right side and Viola between these two you're so vain and uh, here comes Kings Point here comes uh, got a hold on me with a late run but I don't think it's going to get there you're so vain going for the line that's your so vain with the uh, got a hold on me coming with a late run it's not going to get there you're so vain's going to get up there you're so vain wins this uh, looks like uh, if got a hold on me got second Viola the early pacemaker might have just held on to fourth Kings Point uh, third Kings Point gets Ladies and gentlemen, the winning jockey of the 2011 Kenya Champagne Stakes, Mona Bina, is it? Yes. Mona, uh, we are very pleased to have you. We've had, we've, uh, had the uh, luck to have many South African jockeys here before. Could you just tell us a bit about yourself? Where do you ride? Who do you ride for? Well, I'm based in Cape Town, you know. I ride for Carl Berger. It's, just, it's actually nice to be here. Uh, is it you, you are obviously your first time here? Yeah, no, definitely. You got your just recompense because you were just beaten by the shortest of short heads in the first race. Here, you led from wire to wire and you actually won the champagne stakes quite easily in the end by a length. And no, I definitely, she's a nice filly. Always trained like a winner. When I pull out, she quick enough and she won well today. She's from your country. Do you think that, uh, I mean, are there any progeny by and out of uh, this mare in South Africa that, uh, that turned out to be good? No, definitely. They're, 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 they're quite nice. Uh, Which is that poor that they brought out, you know? She won nice today. Uh, well done, Mona, and break a leg in the uh, Kenny Oaks. <laughs> uh, Noor, well done. Uh, I think you also uh, got your revenge on, got a hold on me, because you were beaten into second in the um, uh, Breeding Futurity Stakes. This time there was a reversal of placings. Yeah, um, that was 1,000 meters. Today we've run 1,200 meters, so I think uh, it has suited a bit better than 1,000 uh, meters. Were you confident that you could actually fetch this one today? Yeah, I was very much confident, I think, uh, the way she was, and uh, she's very quick, so I thought probably it was going to be a, a very good race. By the way, uh, you withdrew two horses, uh, no, it wasn't you actually, sorry, I, I uh, uh, mixed up the trainers. Well done, no, 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 I would like to ask Sydney one thing. Sydney, yeah. was Mona Vina brought here actually to ride um, Armstrong's girl in the uh, Oaks, and then he picked up an incidental ride on this horse? Yeah, yeah well, actually that was the plan, but uh, we're going to see what happens right now at the Oaks. Well, uh, actually, you could be in for <laughs> for a double, and winner may ride uh, both uh, both the winners for you. Uh, hopefully, let's hope it's going to end up that way. I just got my fingers crossed on this one. <laughs> he certainly got the name. He's a winner. Oh yeah, he's a winner. <laughs> well done, Sydney. Well done for your dad, David Armstrong, fetching the 2011 Champagne Stakes on your so vain, and the full result of the 2011 Champagne Stakes is uh, the winner, horse number five, your so uh, vain, ridden by. Uh, Mona Winner and uh, trained by Noon Nuno. Second, horse number one, uh, got a hold on me. Third, horse number four, Viola. Uh, fourth, horse number two, Kings Point. And fifth, uh, horse number three, uh, Kings Point. We are going to present the Champagne Stakes 2011 in a few minutes' time. So don't go away. The owner, trainer, and the jockey will be here again.
Ladies and gentlemen, Champagne Stakes is one of the most prestigious two-year-old classics in Kenya's racing calendar. Today is no exception. The horses that have won the Champagne Stakes in earlier years have gone on to win the three-year-old classics and bigger races. And to present the 2011 Champagne Stakes or Lady McMillan's Cup is none other than our very own Joe Banjui, Dr. Joe Banjui, the chairman of the Jockey Club of Kenya, to the owner of the winning horse, uh, Mr. David Armstrong, and here we have Sidney Armstrong, the son, deputizing for his dad, Sidney. Well done, uh, Champagne Stakes 2011 on USO Vane. Well done. Ridden by the visiting jockey, Mona Winner. He's a winner already, as you can see, and trained by Nuno Nuno. Nuno Nuno, well done. Thank you.